Supergirl issue 35 sees Brainiac 1 build himself a new body with the Kryptonian tech in the Fortress of Solitude, knowing that the current Brainiac is a pretender who wasted so much potential. Opening the tube, he finds that the clone body has failed, causing him to burn it. The being says that he needs a Kryptonian to complete the cloning transition and scans the world, locating Supergirl. Kellex arrives, alerted by the fire, and as he scans the scene, a Brainiac 1 attacks, killing the robot as Kellex activates his backup data protocol. Kara and Krypton meanwhile are so happy to see Jeremiah is alive and Kara has so many questions mainly about who the men with the kryptonite are and what Leviathan is. Jeremiah tells her to take a breath and he will explain, but first he needs to say goodbye to Eliza. Going to the charred body in the morgue, he removes Eliza's hand, saying that he can't have that tech falling into the wrong hands. Jeremiah says that he would tell Kara everything, but not in the morgue since anyone could be listening. As they leave, Kara asks what happened while she was gone and learns of Leviathan taking out all the global security groups on both sides. Nearby, a Leviathan soldier watches them and is soon met by Leviathan himself, who was impressed with his agent's resourcefulness. The agent learns that they were sent only to observe as a test to see if she can follow orders and thus far she is passing. Leviathan says it's time to pivot however and she needs them to take down Kara and Jeremiah, but Leviathan wants to talk to Supergirl so she is not to harm her. The Leviathan agent attacks using her kryptonite drones and batons to take out Crypto as Jeremiah fires his guns at the woman, knocking her batons away. The agent fights Jeremiah in hand to hand and he realizes that the agent is fast and strong and has moves he is familiar with. He thinks the agent is Eliza as he is flung away, but he manages to fire his wrist gauntlet at the agent's helmet, blowing part of her helmet away. Supergirl meanwhile is trapped by the kryptonite drones, allowing Leviathan to talk with her, revealing its Cadmus tech that was made to restrain her. Leviathan says that it was the only way he could get to her and get her to listen to him. He says that he has no quarrel with her and that she is one of the honest metahumans, just like her cousin Superman, which is why he respects them. He tells her that they want the same things and the old world order doesn't work anymore and he is the future, a future Supergirl can also be as well. Kara powers up her heat vision, saying that she doesn't follow killers, she makes them pay. Leviathan just increases the kryptonite power, saying that her fire is admirable, but he is right and she knows it. He wants to end the sanity and much like Jor and Zor-El, he is trying to save the planet from destroying itself. Leviathan asks Kara to join him, but she refuses, activating her super suit to protect her from the kryptonite exposure. Leviathan teleports away, saying he anticipated this and knows that she can never win. The agent goes with Leviathan, leaving Kara and Jeremiah to regroup. Kara wants Jeremiah to finally tell her what's been going on, but he says there isn't much else to tell, since no one knows who Leviathan is or where they came from or if there is even a person in that suit. Jeremiah thinks it's some disgruntled good guy who is blaming Kovadots for some loss, but Kara thinks he's probably just insane. He's glad however Kara is back, since now he has someone he can trust completely with this. Suddenly Kara gets an alert from the fortress, racing off as suddenly the Legion of Doom's symbol of doom burns itself into the night sky. Kara rushes to the fortress, finding Kellex has been taken over by Brainiac 1, who lured Supergirl there so he can begin his transformation. Supergirl issues 35 reunited Kara and Jeremiah Danvers in an action-packed issue that saw Supergirl finally get involved with the Leviathan story. While I enjoyed the action, I was very much hoping Kara would have questioned Jeremiah's actions in killing a Leviathan soldier last issue, since she was about to at the end of the last issue before realizing it was Jeremiah, and I thought that would have been a great dynamic for the two, where she was so intent on stopping this guy who had just murdered someone, but then she stops to realize that it's her father figure that did this, some guy who taught her not to kill and everything. It would have been an interesting place to take the story, so it's a little bit disappointing it didn't come up. The Brainiac 1 story was very cool and I'm looking forward to that tying in with not just the Leviathan story that's happening now but also the infected story with the Batman who laughs infecting Supergirl somehow so I'm very much looking forward to all of that. I'm going to give this issue a 7.5 out of 10.